This is the chicken coop right here that we're going to be heating with the compost machine. As you can see right here, this is the compost machine. There are two individual tumblers which both rotate on gear mechanisms. Now the axles of each of the tumblers are connected with this through rod right here and there's pins that hold the axles together. Now that's useful because you can rotate the entire system together which means that your wires for your electronics and your battery aren't going to get twisted. Alright, so these black mats right here are 8 millimeter PVC foam. They have a thermal conductivity of 0 0.035 watts per meter Kelvin. So those are going to keep in as much heat as possible. Now this door right here, which also has the insulation on top of it, is how you close in the compost. Compost needs fresh oxygen to decompose. To serve that purpose, we have two escape vents where the hot air will naturally rise out. And in the bottom, cold air will naturally be pulled in through this vent. Inside of this composter, we install a, a heat exchanger. There's one heat exchanger in each of them. They're symmetric, as you can see here. There's gonna be uh, four tubes with four passes throughout the length of the whole uh, composter and they're going to be in charge of capturing all the heat made by the, created by the, uh, by the compost. Okay, the inlet water starts with this pump. It's a water pump that circulates the water. It's going to go through this heat exchanger. The, water, uh, the outlet water of the heat exchanger goes to the chicken coop and the chicken coop all the way to the circulation system. The same uh, process happening, happens in this composter. And using these solenoid valves, one on the right composter, and one on the left composter. We can uh, independently uh, circulate water uh, depending on the temperature of the compost inside of its composter. So we have 11 total of uh, temperature sensors. We have four in each tumblers and two for water inlet and outlet and one for ambient temperatures. As you can see on the LCD screen, we have the left average temperature and the right average temperature. And when the compost pile temperature it's above the threshold. We'll open up the valve and turn on the pump. Okay so inside of our electrical box here uh, we have an SD card. Uh, the reason we have an SD card is so we can keep track of all the temperatures throughout the day. Um, that's going to be used for later use so we can uh, do data extraction and we can figure out how to improve this product. We have two batteries. Uh, each of these batteries is 12 volts and they each provide 35 amp hours. Um, these batteries are enough to provide power for five days without being connected to the solar panel. Um, as you can see here, we have a switch that turns on and off all of the electronics. So here we have our 100 watt solar panel, which is to power most of our electronics. So this compost pile right here has been decomposing for about one week. That means it's halfway through its decomposition cycle. Now as you can see right here on the thermometer probe, it's at 140 degrees in the middle of the pile. All that steam in the middle of the pile, that's just wasted when it's sitting on the ground. So right here is what you put into the composter. These are just vegetable scraps, chicken manure, all sorts of different organic materials. So we just finished filling up one of the tumblers. Uh, we filled up up to the start of the cover. And you, as you can see, it's all ununiform. So it is good to uh, tumble uh, uh, twice at least to have all the compost uniform around the composter. Now that your compost is finished, this is how to take it out. First, open the door. and rotate until almost start to Okay, keep going. You might have Excellent. to the holder. Okay. So this is what the compost is going to look like after the two-week cycle when it's fully done decomposing. 
it's quite fine. Now this is what you get from a tumbler system. Because you can mix the compost so well, you get fully finished compost.